Today, we're venturing further into the Arctic Circle to discover what the real, most northern point of Europe looks like. We're Helen and Tristan, and last year we embarked on full-time van life, already exploring over 18 countries in our self-built tiny home on wheels. And are now on our longest road trip to date as you join us on part two of our mission to the Nord Cap in Norway. We have made it to Norway. And you've joined us on our final push to the most northern point in Europe, the Nord Cap. Head east on E69 towards Sekunder, Filsveg 175. So if you're new around here, we actually started this mission to the Nord Cap back in Germany. And you can actually see part one of this mission right here. I genuinely can't quite believe that we're actually here in Norway and nearly at the Nord Cap because at points on this journey it really didn't feel like it was going to happen but it's definitely moments like that where it does test you like van life can be quite testing at times but this makes it a hundred percent worth it like the super long days the tiredness trying to juggle everything at once we got to Norway yesterday and it is already incredible and we're just so excited to experience this country and make memories to last a lifetime really How much? Guess. 26 litres basically for a 515 knock, 30 quid. 39 pounds. 39 pounds? Jesus. We will be covering the total cost of this trip, so keep watching to find out how much it really cost us to drive from Germany to the Nord Cap. Hello. Is your first time here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I explain you how it works, okay? You can park on the left, okay? Parking is free outside Aliasar 3. You can also the souvenir shop, coffee house, restaurant, then transfer for the visitor center. It's 320 crowns. I think it's about. We did it! We're officially here. Can you believe it? No, I cannot believe it. It's only taken us 10 days. We are officially at the most northern point in Europe, the Nord Cap. At approximately 2,000 kilometers from the North Pole, we are currently stood on the plateau 307 meters above the Arctic Ocean. And my God, is it cold here. This structure behind me is called the Nord Cap Kugel and marks the most northern point of Europe. It's also one of the most recognized spots to see the northern lights. But we won't be seeing any northern lights here because we're here in mid-summer and the sun hasn't set for about three months now. However, if the clouds clear, we're hopefully going to try and see the midnight sun tonight. And it's from this point you can actually see the peninsula of Nivskolodden, which technically is one kilometre further north than the Nord Cap, making that the official most northern point of Europe, even though this is just named it because it's the tourist area. As you can see behind me, it's very busy up here. There are a lot of tourists. We've seen more campers in the car park than we've seen, I think, in our whole travelling experience, to be honest. It's crazy. 
So to escape the crowds and all of the tourists, we've actually walked to the other side of the Nord Cap Peninsula, where we're enjoying these incredible views east along the rest of Norway. And actually just below this part of the cliffside is a famous rock formation called the... Cape Horn. North, North Cape Horn. Just Cape Horn. We can just about see the horn from up here, just a bit further along the cliffside. And the best thing is, is there's hardly anyone here. So highly recommend just taking a short walk over to this eastern point. These really have been some of the most incredible. <laughs> Yeah, the walkout's a bit sketchy. It's like this dystopian world with just like spotted tourists walking around and uh, it's quite a strange place. The best thing is, is that it was actually free to visit the Nord Cap and park here. It's just if you want to visit the visitor centre here, which kind of has like a museum and some sort of cinema room that you need to pay for, but otherwise it's completely free. We got told it's 25 euros per person. It's something like that. Out of our budget anyway. There is also a restaurant, of course, and a gift shop. We got so lucky with the weather the other day because this place can change like the flick of a switch. It's actually been a couple of days since we ventured around the Nord Cap because the morning we woke up after venturing around, it was foggy as hell and we couldn't see even 20 meters in front of us and there was no way we were gonna try and hike in that weather. However, that weather came as a bit of a blessing in disguise really because we were super tired from all of that driving up here and it forced us to have like a couple of days one to have a good shower two to actually plan our Norway series and we are so excited about the plans that we've got it's going to be full on but it's going to be worth it now before all the tour buses arrive we're going to venture off piste to discover what the real most northern point of Europe looks like The hike that we're doing today is called Neve Skolodden. I've said this three times now, so I should be pronouncing that right. Neve Skolodden. Neve Skolodden. Neve Skolodden. You can see behind me the parking. That's where we've parked down the van, which is a free parking spot right on the main road towards the Nord Cap. And already the terrain is really very rocky, undulated surfaces. I'm so glad I'm wearing my hiking boots today because the weather has been pretty rubbish the last few days and it's super boggy. The total length of the hike itself is around eight kilometers. So yeah, it shouldn't take too long. It feels so good to be out hiking again. I really wanted to do this hike. I really wanted to get to the official most Northern point and even this morning, I woke up at half five, looked out the window, still super thick fog, could hardly see the vans next to us. And then we got up at seven and it just magically cleared. Just meant to be. The views are just incredible. And there's even reindeer just roaming around, around us. Yeah, we've literally been waiting for this. This is like a massive bucket list trip. And yeah, I'm so excited. Oh man, we're being spoiled today. See here, that's the Nord Cap, the most northern point of Europe. There's some reindeer, and then this is a big cloud inversion. Does it get any better? Okay, so we're about halfway there. We've done just over four kilometers so far, and it's actually a really nice, quite easy hike. It's pretty much downhill at the moment. The terrain's okay. It's just pretty like 
jagged stones. Yeah, a nice way to kind of ease our way back into things because we've got some really epic looking hikes that we really want to do while we're here in Norway. It's really quite warm now as well. Wish we were in shorts to be honest, but there's a bit of a nice sea breeze coming across. So yeah, the views are just incredible. We've just sat here for a while, had some water, banana, and on we go. So we've just scrambled pretty much down that there, which is the official path, but uh, it was one hell of a scramble getting down that hill. We are about seven kilometers in, so I think it's only about a kilometer to go. And we're starting to see, well, we would have seen the sea if it wasn't so foggy, but this cloud inversion is just sitting in this valley. It's phenomenal. Only a kilometer to go. Let's do this. Resting on the myth of old All of the stories have been told Secret places hidden well I go now as far as I can tell Well, guys, we made it to the Nord Cap, the official most northern point of Europe. We've just been sat as the fogs just dissipated out of these cliff sides. Really quite an eerie feel when we first got here, but as we've sat maybe for the last 20 minutes, it's just smoothed over the whole landscape and now we can see what we've hiked to really and really enjoy it. And we can finally see the kind of tourist Nord Cap where we were the other day and the cliffs are just crazy they're just like emerging out of the ocean like this point is lower like you hike down to yeah. it but it's also so much quieter which is really nice there are obviously people around there are quite a few people on the trail but everyone's like dispersed out yeah, yeah I'd totally recommend doing this hike if you're here and you have the time because it's so worth it and the views on the hike out and back are just incredible as well. The landscape here is mm -hmm. like insane. I didn't even expect it to be like this. No, I didn't really know what to expect at this particular point. Yeah, like the Nord Cap is such like a destination point that everyone's like aiming to get to and obviously like we had that aim as well, like we're not going to lie. but sometimes people are like so busy rushing to get to that point that you forget to like enjoy getting there and there's more than just the nord cap point basically here yeah really feels like you're at the end of the world and if you can see behind us you can see the big wall that the government's put up <laughs> <laughs> is back on the road now to go and find another park for night spot so that Helen can run through how much the whole trip cost us, including bridges, fuel, you name it. She's gonna go through it and have the total amount at the end. As promised, we have tallied up all of our spending right from when we left Germany near Hamburg all the way to where we are now at the Nord Cap in Norway. So firstly, we have campsites, which is zero pounds. That's because we only stayed at free park ups. Then we have eating out at 31 pounds and then groceries at 103.47. That's both from our food shops in Sweden and some here in Norway, as well as a rough estimate of what we used from our really big food shop that we did way back in Germany. Then we have the two bridges 
through Denmark to Sweden which cost £160.57 and lastly we have fuel which cost us £545.66 that is driving over 3,000 kilometres over about seven days and the total is £840.70 and 70p but it was well worth it and we still have loads of exploring to do here in Norway. One other thing that we did spend is the hotel stay in Finland and that cost us just over £210 but it was for a night stay, we had dinner there included, we had breakfast included and access to the Arctic sauna world. So is that all going to be worth it? Well only time will tell. This is our trip of a lifetime and it's the trip that we've been looking forward to all year because we're not just here at the Nordcap but we're going to be venturing south towards Lofoten. To be able to say that we're, I don't know, 200, so I don't know how far actually we're far, but we're a couple of days away from the Lofoten Islands. For us, it's just a dream destination and I'm so excited to be there, hopefully in a couple of days where we're gonna be producing a lot more films, we're gonna be going on a lot of hikes and I'm gonna hopefully try and take some amazing photos like I used to do. So that's it, our two part journey to the Nordcap from Germany done and dusted. Don't forget to give this video a like if you've really enjoyed it or if you found it valuable and we've got amazing videos coming soon. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on any of our Lofoten videos. Join us next time as we head to a top bucket list location and explore Lofoten. I can't believe we've done it. Are these views because they're insane, insane.